Cheers, what it is and what it ain't. It's your boy Liquid Cash. I need it all out the stash. AKA Money Mitch. And right now you watching the School of Hard Knocks. I'm just trying to get it like you got it, you did. Hey, listen, man, this episode is going to be a nice episode as well. This is going to be, this episode is all about breaking bad habits, getting out of your way. You know what I mean? Because our biggest, biggest uh, challenges in life is changing our bad habits. You know what I mean? We get in our way. We become our worst enemies. You know what I mean? We become our worst enemies by the things that we do. I know 90% of y'all, when y'all wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is you jump on your phone. That's the first thing y'all do. I know because I was one of that 90%. You feel me? And to be honest, 90% is too, too low of a number. I think 99.9 of y'all jump on y'all phone as soon as you wake up. You know what I mean? You don't give thanks to God for waking you up. You don't, you don't, you don't appreciate being up and being alive. You jump on your phone and you check Instagram. You know, that's the first bad habit a lot of you have. You know, instead of just taking the first hour when you wake up to exercise your mind. You know, drink a glass of water, pick up a book, read 15 pages of that book, you know, put on a motivational speaker, listen to that for 10 minutes, you know, brush, listen to that while you take a shower, you feel me? Exercise your mind for the first hour that you wake up. Don't jump on the internet and scroll through Instagram and look at all the negativity that's on Instagram because there ain't nothing positive on it. Every now and get every now and then you might get a positive quote every now and then, but most of the bullshit that's on Instagram is just what it is, bullshit. You know what I mean? So it's important that you break your bad habits. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story, right? Um, back in the days when I used to be hustling on the streets, right? And I found a way to get some money. You know, after I finished working the nine to five, I found a way to make some money on the streets, just taking a chance, taking a risk. And once I found out that it was money on that particular street or that particular block, I put all my homies on. You know what I mean? I put everybody on. I put my best friends on. I put my, my close friends on. And we always eating on that block. Because, you know, I was feeding off their energy. They was feeding off of my energy. And I didn't want to be selfish and just be the only one making bread. So I put everybody on, man. And try to help them to, uh, you know gain a level of, you know, success, try to help them to get out of the rut they was in, in their particular life, at, at that particular time. So, we on the block, working the same hours, you know what I mean, from not, from, from, from 9 to 8 in the morning, from, from 8 in the morning, till maybe 1 o'clock, I might get off, I might start working on the block at 12 o'clock, because my hustle is a little different, I'm going hard, you dig what I'm saying, I, and I make a certain amount, I'm good for the day, you feel me? So, we on the block and we hustling. Everybody working the same type of hours. Some may be working more hours, but yet and still, one of my best friends, he never was able to be able to save the amount of money that I was be able was able to save. Like he always was in some financial situation. And it was like, how were we on the same block at the same time? And we working the same product and I got more money than you. You know what I'm saying? And I had to realize it's your habits. It's just bad habits. You know, where I might wanna just save 80% of my money, he might spend 80% of his money and save 20%. You know what I mean? He had a, you know, he liked to drink, he liked to hang out, he liked to, you know, do a lot of things that is kind of productive to his growth and development. You know, he want to buy the new J's, get the, you know, get the freshest, you know, new sneakers that's out. And 
I'm into dressing too. I'm into getting fly. So I used to purchase an item every day as well. I ain't gonna front. I used to purchase an item every day as well because when I hit the block, I wanted to be fly too. You know what I mean? But at that particular time, I was in. You know what I mean? I didn't. I didn't mind going to H&M and buying a shirt that was twenty dollars because I'm gonna make that shit look fly anyway. I didn't mind going to uh, Levi's and buying some jeans for fifty dollars because I'm gonna make that shit look fly anyway. You feel me? Because it ain't about what you wear, it's how you put it on. So, I'm not going to say I wasn't shopping too. But my thing is, I wasn't spending more than I was saving. And he was spending more than he was saving. And for that particular reason, he was not able to sustain his finances to a particular level where he was able to maneuver like I was maneuvering through life. And, you know, I had talks with him for hours, hours, hours. Everybody had conversations with him and tell him, you know what I mean? Like, what he need to do? And it seemed like he would be listening. But tomorrow, his action would show that he wasn't even paying attention to us at all. Because he would go right back into his same format. Drinking, smoking, and uh, doing all the unnecessary things. He had bad habits that kept him down. He had bad habits. And he's one of my best friends. To this day, I love him. So I always try to give him words of wisdom. Always try to enlighten and give him uh, positive things to, to, to help uh, get his mind in the right perspective. <laughs> but it's no matter what I said to him, it go through one end and come through the next because he has to change. He, want, he has to want to change for himself. He has to want to change for himself. You know, and... He was getting in a lot of trouble inside of, uh, you know, in New York, getting a lot of altercations and I'm hearing a lot of things going on. So I told him to come to Vegas. Hey man, come to Vegas, clear your mind, you know, get around a new scenery. But you know what? That was one of the, I don't know if it was one of the worst or, or, or one of the best decisions. I'm not sure because right now he's locked up in, in prison right now doing two years because he couldn't stop his bad habits. You know, he was still getting drunk, he was still getting high, and he got an altercation where he got drunk and high and it ultimately landed him in prison. You know what I mean? So I felt like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have tell him come to Vegas because maybe he wouldn't have been in prison. So I felt a little bit of guilt for that as well. But I had to understand that, you know, no matter if he was in New York or if he was in Vegas, once he's once he's still continuing with these bad habits, it don't matter where you at. Nine out of ten times you're gonna end up dead or in jail because you live in a particular lifestyle that is not uh, uh, productive, that's not that's not healthy. So, you know, um, at the end of the day, man, you gotta be able to change who you are in order to be. Or, or, or get something that you never had. You have to change who you are. You cannot be the same person and want different results. It just don't work that way. You have to change your particular routine. You have to develop new routine. You can't have the same bad habits, smoking and drinking every day, partying and fucking around and playing and think you're gonna like make it to a particular level in your life that you wanna be at. It don't happen like that, man. You gotta change your bad habits. You gotta make sacrifices. In order to gain something, you have to give something. You might have to give up smoking. You might have to give up drinking. You might have to give up partying. You might have to sacrifice something to get something. That's just how it goes. It don't go no other way. Anybody telling you anything different is a liar. So, you know what I mean? Don't be one of these dudes or one of these females out here that's doing the same and you looking for different results. It ain't gonna happen like that, like I said, man. You know? So, hopefully, my best friend, when he gets out of prison, he's able to uh, uh, able to change a lot of his ways, a lot of his bad habits, and be able to have a fresh start, come back into society with a clear mind, focused, ready to achieve and accomplish whatever he desire. I'm going to be there to help him through every step of the way. But at the end of the day, ultimately, he's going to want to have to change for himself and that's what you're going to have to do you're going to have to change for yourself you're going to have to want to do it because nobody can make you do it you can't control a person the only thing you can do is influence them that's it that's all you can do 
You know what I mean? So, what are the things that you're doing in your life right now that's a bad habit? You know, I had bad habits when I was growing up. I love women. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm guilty. I love women. I love being around women. I'm guilty of that. Back in the days, I didn't like being around dudes. I didn't feel like my day was completed unless I experienced the energy of a female. I needed some type of interaction with a female. I wanted to come converse with her. I wanted to uh, 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 just, just be around a female energy. I'm not one of them dudes that like to be around niggas 24 seven. Yeah, I like chilling with my homies, but man, I wanna be around a female, man. I can't be around you dudes every day. And that was one of my bad habits because a lot of times that I would have a situation to go get some money and a female would call me up and I would go ahead with, I would go and, and, and tend to the female's need instead of tending to my need of getting to this paper. And I, I, I recognize that about myself and I changed that. So everything else is secondary. Money comes first. I don't care what it is. If you ain't in a burning uh, house, with a, you ain't in a house that's burning up, then shit. Drive forward, drive forward. You know, this lady, she knows it. You know, nosy people in the neighborhood. <laughs> You know, you drive for it. Y'all excuse me, I'm in a neighborhood, I'm in a flashy car, and you got, uh, you know, nosy people that wanna uh, come to your car and take pictures and look in, inside your car and all this other weird ass shit. You know what I mean? Pull over to the side on the right. You know what I mean? And make sure you're not blocking the driveway. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got a lot of nosy people that wanna just you know, get in your business and shit and take pictures of your car. But anyway, we're gonna get back to it, man. We ain't gonna let that stop the show. Like I was saying again, I had bad habits that I had to change. I had to do some self-reflecting and I changed my bad habits. Now everything else is secondary when it comes to this paper. When it's time to get to this money, everything else is secondary. If you ain't in a house that's burning up and, and, and you, you your life is on the line, if it ain't an emergency, hey man, I'll catch you later. You dig what I'm saying? Cause I'm about to go chase the bag. And that's what, how you gotta be focused, man. You gotta be focused, so so focused that, you know what I mean? Ain't not gonna block your vision. Change your bad habits. Like I said, when you wake up in the morning, develop different routines than going on your phone and checking Instagram. Cause you already know what's on that. It ain't nothing but BS. You know, change your routine. Develop new routines, man. Pick up a book, read something. Well, last you read something. Well, last any one of you guys read anything, man. You know what I mean? Well, last y'all read anything. I, let me, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, uh, 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 suggest a book for y'all to read. The, uh, the Power of Positive Thinking. That's the first book I'm gonna suggest for y'all to go ahead and pick up and purchase that and read that. The Power of Positive Thinking. Because you gotta understand, you have to change your mind frame. You know? And once you change the way you think, you'll be able to change the way you live. As a man think it, so is he. And that's also a good book for you to read too, as a man think it, you know? For the ladies, power of positive thinking. For the men, as a man think it. Or you could do, swap it out. Y'all both could read, you know what I mean, any one of those books. But at the end of the day, like I was trying to say, man, change up your bad habits. You know what I mean? Change them up. Don't let your habits, you know, uh, determine your future, you know? So change up your bad habits, develop new routines, wake up in the morning, do something different, at least for the first hour. At least give yourself the first hour of your day and dedicate it to yourself, you know? Don't dedicate it to social media, dedicate it to yourself. Like I said, hey man, y'all know what it is. It's Liquid Cash, L-I-K-Q-U-I-D-C-A-S-H. I'm not gonna spend all day on this topic, like I said, change your bad habits. You know, if you like what I said in this particular vlog, comment below, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and, and definitely uh, get the notification when I upload my next video. And uh, like I said, man, the hustle, uh, the game is free, but the hustle is sold separately. You're watching the School of Hard Knocks. Class is dismissed.